is Tanner Andre. I am an emergency medicine physician assistant, and I will be walking us through the virtual mannequin today. Um, we currently have two virtual mannequins available to use. We've got an adult chest pain virtual mannequin and a pediatric respiratory virtual mannequin. Uh, today we'll highlight some of the unique things about the adult chest pain virtual mannequin. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click start case here. You'll see that in the virtual mannequin setup, you'll have the flexibility to choose different patients in different environments before even loading into the case. So there are six different patients here. We'll go ahead and select Cecil. We can choose ambulance or emergency room. We'll stick with the emergency department and click start. Okay. So you'll notice a couple of key features that the virtual mannequin is able to solve uh, when we contrast it to a majority of the Simex cases, which are kind of more in a state-based format, um, where the software is gonna track which critical actions the learners hit, and then the patient is going to change accordingly. The virtual mannequin is, is designed for you to change everything on the fly. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start case and walk you through all of the different features available. And once that gets going, give you like a little bit better of a view here. Perfect. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is you can actually use presets. Um, and we'll get into that actually in just a little bit. Let's just go through the different uh, actions. So uh, there is a non-player computer here in NPC um, who can do a couple of things, primarily just chest compression. So you'll see if I click NPC start chest compressions, she'll come over and start chest compressions. Starting chest, chest compressions. compressions. Okay, I'll have her stop. Stopping, Stopping chest, chest compressions. And then go back and stand by the door. Okay, there are also some different patient animations. We do have a student in the headset for us. If you don't mind going over and raising the bed up, that would be fantastic. Okay, let you see their view. Okay, so Cecil's up now. I can have him sit forward in the bed. I can have him hold his chest in pain. I can have him stop that pain. I can change his expression to be angry or worried. Okay, you can also change a lot of different exam findings. So I can change his GCS, give him a temperature. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll change his temperature from 37 to 38.5. And when the learner goes ahead and gets a, a temperature, you'll see that the, the temperature will be different. Um, a lot of different things you can change, whether it's the lung sounds, uh, changing the, the skin appearance, giving the patient edema. This is a chest pain oriented virtual mannequin. So trying to think about all the different exam findings you might see. Another key thing here is being able to change the cardiac waveform live during a simulation. So. We'll go ahead and get the patient on vitals. And currently we have uh, just normal sinus. Heart rate is, let's see here, yeah, 71. And I can go ahead and change those vitals on the fly up here in the top right. So let's have his heart rate come up to, I don't know, 110, drop his oxygen. If you don't want to use the arrows, you can actually just free type it in. So let's have it go down to 85. Um, you can also change the blood pressure. And then while you're going through a scenario, the student might go ahead and put the patient on oxygen when they notice that the oxygen is low. And you can adjust the, the SpO2 live on, on the fly or uh, you can have the auction stay low like it is and not adjust it. So I'll be nice to the students say, hey, they put them on oxygen, let's bump it up. Okay, now the patient's oxygen is stable here. Um, going back to the monitor, we've got, let's just put this patient into AFib. And you'll see actually that one's not as easy to see. Let's do, uh, let's do VTAC. So you'll see, okay, that's not good. The learner will notice that the patient is in VTAC and then we'll need to do different actions. I'll go back to the third person view here. Okay, 
Um, you can also change ultrasound findings. So there's an ultrasound machine over on the opposite side of the, the bed here. I'll have the student come over and show that. So you can do a fast exam. You can also change the EKG findings. If they order an EKG, you can change imaging findings. If they order an X-ray or CT, um, you can also change lab findings uh, here. So a lot of really cool uh, ability to change different exam findings, lab findings, imaging findings on the fly. And then the last piece before we get into presets is you can also communicate as the patient. So, and the learner walks over and introduces themselves to the patient. You can either use the space bar or you can click on this uh, talking symbol here in the, the corner and the patient starts talking. Hi, my name is Cecil, I'm having some chest pain today. And then click it again and it will stop talking. Um, let's go ahead and we will show you also there's some dialogue for the ED tech that I showed you earlier. So she My can, name is May. Yep, exactly. And uh, you can actually have a medic in the ambulance if we're doing the ambulance mode and you can also be the operator on the phone and connect them to a doc and you'd be the doc or the nurse or you an S bar or things like that. So a lot of cool stuff. Now you're probably wondering, well, this is a lot of stuff to do on the fly live during a simulation. Can I create my own kind of sim prior to uh, putting a student in the scenario? The answer is yes. Now, here's the preset section. We did go ahead and build a couple of presets, like for a STEMI, where the patient's EKG has ST elevations, there's some tombstoning, they have an elevated troponin, or a PE, and so on and so forth. But you can also create your own presets. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset the case and I will show you how that works. All right, awesome. So we reset the case. You're just gonna come up here to this uh, little paper symbol in the top right. You're gonna click on new. Um, I don't think we have any kind of asthma preset. I know it's not technically a chest pain, but you don't have to only do chest pain. I mean, you could really do anything you want in this case. So let's go ahead and do like an asthma uh, unstable and we'll click save, then you'll click on it, and you'll click edit, and then we can kind of go through and, and build it out. So let's have an unstable, probably be tacky, let's do 125, respiratory rate 30, oxygen in 85, right? Um, we'll have the patient sit forward in the bed, we will go to exam, we'll have his GCS stay at 15, I'll do a normal temp. Let's do some wheezing on each side. And we'll have them in, uh, let's see, maybe just normal and then we'll have his heart rate will be up so it'll be tacky. Ultrasound, I think we're okay. We'll just have it all be normal. And let's go ahead and put the patient in sinus tack. Imaging, if they did an x-ray, we'll just keep it normal. And labs, I don't think they would probably get labs right away, but hey, let's do uh, normal CBC, normal CMP, uh, normal coags, uh, normal enzymes, normal dimer, and the rest we'll just say COVID negative if they get that. Uh, let's not do an ABG. So you're kind of getting the feel for what this looks like. I'll click save here. Now we have an asthma unstable state. We can create another state that maybe is asthma uh, worsening or asthma stable so that you don't have to go through and click on the fly. And now I'm just gonna come back over to orders and actions, start the case. And you'll see that that preset is now here. So rather than coming through and having to click on each individual um, exam and lab in action, I can just click on asthma unstable and those will all happen, okay? Um, the only other thing I was gonna show you is maybe just some uh, orient you a little bit to the uh, equipment that's available in the virtual mannequin. So we'll start with the med cabinet 
Um, most of our on-the-shelf scenarios that are more kind of state-based and have those uh, specific learning objectives have a Pixis or have specific meds that are available. Uh, to keep this as kind of broad as we, we can, we decided to just include a, a lot of different medications in this medication cabinet to choose from, like you would in a sim lab, right? Uh, so we can go ahead and drop any medication, um, and we'll go ahead and just close those drawers up, and we'll show you the crash cart, the isolation cart, so you can don PPE if you want to. Um, you can defibrillate the patient if you need to. Here's some meds at the top. You've got an airway kit that you can actually intubate the patient. And then we've also got a chest tube kit. I already showed you the ultrasound. Um, the isolation cart is right here. So just if you want just the basics, gloves, gown. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the equipment here. And I think that just about wraps it up. Uh, thanks for joining us. I uh, really hope that you enjoy using this product. Mm -hmm.